Have you ever wondered about the mystical elements surrounding the Sabarimala temple and the divine light Makara Jyoti? In the heart of Kerala, a southern state of India nestled amidst 18 hills, the Sabarimala temple stands as a beacon of faith and devotion. This sacred abode of Lord Ayapa is a significant pilgrimage site visited by millions of devotees each year. The temple is unique in its open acceptance of all, regardless of religion, caste or creed, emphasizing the universal brotherhood of humanity. The temple's architectural design is as unique as its philosophy. Built in accordance with traditional Kerala style, the temple complex blends seamlessly with the surrounding lush greenery, almost as if it is a part of the landscape itself. Its intricate carvings and sculptures are a testament to the craftsmanship of ancient India, while its location on a hilltop adds an element of mystique and grandeur. But what truly sets Sabarimala apart is the divine phenomenon of Makara Jyoti, a celestial light that appears on the horizon annually, attracting millions of pilgrims. This spectacle, shrouded in mystery, has been a topic of heated debates and scientific inquiries. Is it a divine miracle or a natural phenomenon? The answers may vary, but the allure of Makara Jyoti remains undiminished. The road to Sabarimala is not an easy one. Pilgrims must undertake a rigorous 41-day fast, abstaining from worldly pleasures and leading a life of austerity. They then trek through dense forests, braving harsh weather and rough terrains to reach the temple. And yet, despite the challenges, the devotees are driven by an unwavering faith, their eyes set on the divine light that awaits them. Now that we've set the stage, let's dive deeper into the fascinating story of Sabarimala and Makara Jyoti. Stay tuned as we unravel the history, the myths and the science behind this captivating tale of faith and devotion. The history of Sabarimala is as intriguing as its mysterious aura. Are you ready to embark on this historical journey? Nestled amid the dense forests of Kerala in southern India, Sabarimala is a beacon of faith and devotion, attracting millions each year. But what's the story behind this revered shrine? The legend of Sabarimala is inseparable from its presiding deity, Lord Ayyappa. Ayyappa the son of two powerful deities, Vishnu and Shiva, is a symbol of religious unity and harmony. The tale unfolds with Ayapa's birth, an extraordinary event aimed at defeating a demoness wreaking havoc on earth. Ayapa, armed with divine powers, fulfills his destiny, annihilating the demoness. Post-victory, he chooses celibacy and retreats to meditate at Sabarimala. The temple's unique location, deep within the wilderness, signifies Ayapa's ascetic life. It's said that the deity sits in perpetual meditation here, radiating peace and tranquility. The temple's architecture too is a testament to its rich history, with the Sanctum Sanctorum housing the deity in a seated posture, a rarity in Hindu temples. The mention of Sabarimala is incomplete without referencing the Makara Jyoti, a celestial light that appears annually on the horizon. The event coincides with Makara Sankranti, a major Hindu festival. For devotees, the sighting of this divine light is a reaffirmation of their faith, a spectacle that draws them to Sabarimala year after year. The Makara Jyoti, believed to be a blessing from Lord Ayapa himself, is an integral part of the temple's law. So, that's the intriguing history of Sabarimala, a tale of divine intervention a story of a deity born to restore peace, choosing an austere life in the wilderness. A tale of faith that transcends barriers, bringing together millions in shared devotion. And the mystery of the Makara Jyoti, a celestial phenomenon deeply intertwined with the temple's history. With the historical context in place, it's time to unravel the mystery of the divine light, Makara Jyoti. What is the Makara Jyoti? And why does it captivate millions every year? Unraveling the mystery of this divine light is a journey through faith, tradition, and a touch of controversy. Makara Jyoti, in essence, is a celestial light that is believed to be visible on Makara Sankranti Day, which falls on January 14th every year. 
the light's appearance is considered auspicious and marks the culmination of the annual pilgrimage to the Sabarimala temple nestled in the heart of the Western Ghats in Kerala, India. The spectacle of the Makara Jyoti is a sight to behold. As the dusk settles on Makara Sankranti, the horizon glows with a brilliant light three times in succession. The pilgrims gathered in anticipation erupt in chants and prayers, their faith unwavering and their spirits soaring. The divine light, they believe, is a manifestation of Lord Ayapa himself, the presiding deity of the Sabarimala temple. The sighting of the divine light is considered a blessing, a divine affirmation of their devotion and penance. However, the Makara Jyoti is not without its share of controversies. Skeptics and rationalists question the authenticity of the divine light, arguing that it's man-made. The debate often spirals into a tussle between faith and reason, tradition and modernity. Yet the allure of the Makara Jyoti remains undiminished, with the faithful dismissing the controversy as mere skepticism. The Makara Jyoti is an intriguing blend of faith, tradition and mystery. It weaves a captivating narrative that transcends religious boundaries and resonates with individuals far and wide. The annual spectacle draws millions to the remote hills of Sabarimala, their hearts fueled with devotion, their eyes seeking the divine light. Amidst the chants and prayers, the Makara Jyoti shines brightly, a beacon of faith and spirituality. The Makara Jyoti indeed stirs intrigue and devotion but is there a scientific explanation to this phenomenon? As we delve deeper into the mystery, let us embark on a quest to unravel the science behind the divine light. The journey promises to be as enlightening as the Makara Jyoti itself. Science and faith often intersect, creating a fascinating discourse. Let's explore the scientific explanation of the Makara Jyoti. At the heart of science lies curiosity, a desire to understand the world around us. This curiosity has led many to investigate the phenomenon of Makara Jyoti. From a scientific standpoint, the Makara Jyoti is often attributed to a celestial event. Some theorists suggest it is linked to the transition of the Sun from the Tropic of Capricorn to the Tropic of Cancer, an event that occurs around the same time as the sighting of the Jyoti. Extensive studies have been conducted to analyze this event. Researchers have meticulously observed the timings the weather conditions, the celestial alignments and other environmental factors during the Makara Jyoti phenomenon. The collected data has often pointed towards a natural cause such as a solar or atmospheric phenomenon rather than a supernatural one. However, it's essential to remember that science doesn't necessarily negate faith. The debate between faith and science isn't about disproving one with the other. Instead, it's about understanding how they can coexist. In the context of the Makara Jyoti, the scientific explanation doesn't diminish the spiritual significance it holds for millions. On the contrary, it adds another layer of wonder to it. Scientific theories propose that the Makara Jyoti could be an atmospheric optical phenomenon similar to the Aurora Borealis. This theory suggests that the light is a result of the interaction between solar particles and the Earth's magnetic field. Other theories propose it could be due to a unique alignment of celestial bodies, creating a spectacle of light visible from the Sabarimala. In essence, science seeks to understand the mechanics behind the Makara Jyoti, not to debunk its spiritual significance. The quest for knowledge can often lead us to appreciate the wonders of the universe even more. Whether it's divine or scientific, the Makara Jyoti continues to be a beacon of faith and fascination. We've traversed through history and science, faith and fascination. Let's revisit the key points of our journey. We embarked on a historical voyage exploring the mystery of Sabarimala, a sacred temple nestled in the lush greenery of Kerala, India. We discovered the temple's significance, steeped in centuries of reverence, and its unique deity, Lord Ayapa who is venerated as a symbol of unity and equality. Unraveling the temple's past, we learnt about the rigorous 41-day pilgrimage, a testament to the devotee's unwavering faith and commitment. Our journey then led us to the divine light of Makara Jyoti, 
an ethereal phenomenon that illuminates the skies above Sabarimala annually. This celestial spectacle, deeply intertwined with the temple's lore, draws millions of devoted pilgrims each year. The sight of the divine light, they believe, is a divine blessing, a beacon of hope and spiritual enlightenment. But the enchantment of Sabarimala and Makara Jyoti is not just rooted in faith. We delved into the science behind the Makara Jyoti, demystifying the celestial phenomenon. We learned that the divine light is actually a star that becomes visible on the horizon during the Makara Sankranti festival. This scientific explanation, however, does not diminish the spiritual significance of the phenomenon. Instead, it adds another layer of intrigue, marrying faith with facts and spirituality with science. The story of Sabarimala and Makara Jyoti continues to captivate the world, sparking intrigue and devotion in equal measure. The temple remains a symbol of unity and equality, while the divine light, a beacon of hope and spiritual enlightenment. The scientific explanation of the Makara Jyoti has only deepened the fascination, reinforcing the idea that faith and science can coexist. The story of Sabarimala and Makara Jyoti is a testament to the enduring allure of faith and the quest for understanding. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and watch this video if you want to know more about Indian culture.